I'm Ken Silburn and I'm the head teacher of science at Kashula High School, which is a school in New South Wales, Australia. Good morning. What we want students to be able to do is to take control of their, their learning and to be inspired and engaged in what they do. Set. Go. Not a normal classroom teacher. So he's very spontaneous, he's very enthusiastic when he comes to class. He doesn't just teach it, he preaches it. The way he explains stuff, he also tells stories a lot. And once he's got them hooked, then he brings out his air rockets and his, you know, experiments with this and that. That type of learning, you know, 21st century learning, problem solving, that isn't in, in a conventional sort of classroom setting so is not time. just really exciting for the kids, it's really exciting for the teacher. If you just read from a book, maybe some of that information gets into your head. But if you actually get your hands into the subject and do it, then, then you learn. Because Mr Silburn is doing science, a lot more people are choosing science. It's really motivating to see that a teacher has so much passion for his students. Our cows move softly. Okay, which really so I think I'm lucky because uh, people, when they get to my age, they, they tend to have hobbies. Well, I get paid to do my hobby. For me, teaching isn't from nine to five. It's after school, weekends, working with other teachers. I wouldn't say I'm a, a geek. I, I love technology um, and I, li I like to use it in the classroom and I like to use it myself. Ken is a great teacher because he just doesn't stop. It's quite common to get emails from Ken between two and four in the morning. If I'm tired, I sleep. If I'm awake, I'll just get up and I'll do work. Good morning. Our region, southwest of Sydney, it's just been behind the eight ball when it comes to education. We often get kids who, who don't believe that they can um, achieve. You know, if they think, no, I can't do it, it's too hard, then, then it is too hard. But if they have this belief that they can do it, even if they have a, a problem as they go through, Whoa. then they will solve that problem and they'll have success. A lot of the teachers that teach here grew up in the area in South West Sydney, so we intimately understand the challenges that the kids go through. My family actually didn't have that much money. Ken's just like one of these kids. He smashed a glass ceiling many years ago. I was the first and only person in my family to go to university because I had teachers that had faith in me. It's obvious that good teaching changes lives. Six years ago, we created a program called iSTEM. So STEM, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, to open up opportunities for students regardless of their school. And that's actually developed now into basically a multinational project. We had a, a student at Space Camp a few years ago, Daniel, who was confronted with a fictitious problem that was given to him. One of his, his crew members on the, the spacecraft had had a heart attack and, and he came up just immediately with this, this ingenious idea of let's use the aluminium foil we've got, these wires, these batteries, let's make our own defibrillator. And Daniel actually received a, an award called The Right Stuff. Everything of my life was changed from that point. I wanted to be able to fly amongst the stars. <laughs> We're actually able to show them that you can aspire to do anything that you want to. It makes their horizon open up. The number of students that he would have helped in Australia would be thousands, but internationally, I know that there are way beyond the thousands. Ken has been able to take what we do at Kashula High, what we all passionately believe in, and take it to other children around the world. It doesn't matter where a kid is in the world, a kid's a kid, and the, the same experiments and activities I do with, with my students. When I was in India, I was able to do that too. My generation won't be able to solve the problems that we're having in the world with, with climate change and with overpopulation, but our next generation will. And it's really important that we actually give them the skills and the belief that they can solve those problems. Because so I have a belief that it doesn't matter where you are in the world, it doesn't matter about how much money you have, you should have the same opportunity that students at my school have.